postulates, I'm going to go ahead and derive uh, the Lorentz transformation equation. And the idea is this. Say we're in it's a funny spaceship, but say we're in a spaceship. Here we are in this thing. So there's a mirror uh, here and a mirror here. And we're going to play around with a photon. One photon here is going to be going back and forth. So it's going to be moving up here, bouncing on this mirror, and then coming back down. And it'll be going tick-tock, tick-tock. And this guy sees that the light is going at the speed of light, going back and forth, uh, tick-tock. And the, uh, there's a person outside of this spaceship, and he sees the same thing. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to then accelerate this uh, spaceship to a certain velocity. We'll call this velocity v. And just to kind of keep it moving, I'm going to extend this, this spaceship out this way because it's moving along a certain direction this way. And as the frames go like this, now, what we see with this mirror idea now is a little different. Uh, he sees, because he's in this frame of reference, he sees the, the photon still going up and he's moving with the, with the light beam. Okay. Where this person is going to see something a little different. He's going to see this beam of light, or the, not beam, but uh, this photon of light going up like this because the whole thing is moving. And then it's going to tick, and then it's going to be talk, and then tick, talk, etc. OK, so we look at, we're going to look at one of these triangles here. This guy is seeing the beam of light going like this, the observer inside the spaceship. He's seeing the light just go up like this and then back down. This person on the outside is seeing the beam of light going to a diagonal. Okay. And what we're going to use here is we're going we're to put values for the distances of these legs of this triangle. Uh, the, dis the, uh, uh, the leg of this, since distance is equal to velocity times time, uh, this distance here would be the velocity of light, which is c times the time, and I'm going to use the time of this guy to be lowercase t. Okay, that would be the distance from here to here. The distance from this leg, well, distance, the velocity is v, and the time of this would be the time of, uh, and I'm going to use capital T, for the time of the outside observer, because he doesn't even see the beat of any leg here. But this person is seen uh, by going like this, and that would be velocity times capital T. And to finish this up, uh, this light here would be uh, the speed of light times the <coughs> capital T, the time of the outside, the observer. OK, so we get our legs. And then all we do is we're going to uh, uh, create a, the Pythagorean theorem here. So we're going to go uh, C uh, T squared plus uh, V capital T squared is equal to uh, C capital T squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to manipulate this with uh, algebra. OK. This expression right here <laughs> is used so much in special theory that we give it a name. It's called the gamma factor. So now we're going we're gonna to actually create a story. Say that on Earth, uh, we don't know on Earth, but this guy in the spaceship goes out, uh, we'll call it 90%, 90% of the speed of light that he's traveling. And we'll say he travels for 10 years. 
And we want to know how much time has taken place on Earth. What's that guy's time? So we're going to use this equation. We can just say capital T is equal to um, 10 years. That was the time of the, the person moving times 1 over the square root of 1 minus 0 0.90 squared. OK, now, um, if uh, you don't have a calculator, uh, you can use Excel, actually, on your computers to compute this. Uh, and um, either way, uh, Let's first of all, let's get the gamma factor, and then we'll times it by 10. So can anybody tell me what this 1 over uh, the square root of 1 minus 0.90 is? The gamma factor in this is 2.29. OK, so 2.29, we'll just keep it like that. So therefore, it ends up, that's our gamma factor, how much time is actually being stretched out. So therefore. Uh, the observer time would end up to be not 10 years, but it'd be 22.9 years. Now, just to be a little bizarre here in this, this is why Excel is really good if you set up Excel, but you can easily do this in the calculator. Let's change it to, let's go a lot faster. Let's go to 99% of the speed of light. Then first, let's ca uh, calculate our new gamma factor. By the way, the gamma factor has a, has a symbol kind of like that. What would you get for that, for 99%? 7. Yeah, 7.08, right? So here it's, so now we're really talking about something much more severe. If we're going 99%, then we're saying gamma was 7.08, and so therefore, it would calculate that 10 years in the spaceship would then be computed to 70.8 years. OK, so this is one example. Now, uh, there's two more effects of going fast, going close to the speed of light. Um, so we already said the first effect is going to be the time uh, slows down. Two is uh, mass will increase. And it increases by the same exact equation. Um, so I can create these equations. This equation I already wrote. We can also write an equation that, that the mass of the observer is equal to the original mass, uh, the mass of the idea of moving, times 1 over, uh, it's the same equation. 1 minus uh, v squared over c squared. OK. So uh, we already have this equation for time. And it ends up that the length of objects uh, contract. This was the problem of the Michelson-Morley experiment, if anybody's familiar with that, that one of the arms actually contracted. And there the equation is that the length is going to equal the original length times uh, just times 1 minus v squared over c squared. So we see we have our, these three equations. Here, I'll even just put this one. OK, so this is basically the, the derivation of these Lorentz transformations. Uh, does anybody have any questions before I give out a 10-question uh, quiz? <laughs> <laughs>